Hey, God bless. This is David Bissona, the Too Blessed guy from Net TV, from your program, Too Blessed to Be Stressed. And we're on day 11 of Passion, 40 days of Passion this Lent season. And God is doing a great work in us. Yes, He is. I know He's doing a great work in me. He just, His Word is doing great things in me. He's encouraging me to, to stay the course, to be holy, to repent, to fast, to pray. I mean, God is just doing amazing things in my life. And I am sure that He is also doing amazing things in your life and amazing things in your youth group, with your family, with your loved ones. And this is what God wants from us. You know, I'm convinced that if we just keep God in first place and keep His Word in our hearts, and, and start to do what God wants us to do, we are going to see tremendous things happen in our lives. And today, does God have a word for you? And today's gospel is taken from Matthew chapter 1. We're going to start on verse 18. And this is what it says. This was how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. His mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they were married, she found out that she was going to have a baby by the Holy Spirit. Joseph was a man who was always who always did what was right, but he did not want to disgrace Mary publicly, so he made plans to break up the engagement privately. So I want you to think about this. So here's Mary. The angel appears to her and tells her, you know, you, you, you're pregnant with a baby, and it's Jesus, you know, and uh, Joseph finds out that she's pregnant, and he knows that it's not his baby, so he, he says, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to disgrace her, so I am going to just break up with her in private. Now, I want you to admire Mary's attitude here. You know, if someone thought something wrong about you, the first thing we want to do is we want to defend ourselves. We want to defend ourselves, say, no, you're wrong. But you know what Mary does? What you and I need to do. She let God defend her. You know, and that's very hard to do because when someone is saying something about you, right, the first, you know, instinct is, I need to, def I need to put them in their place. I need to let them know they're lying. But here Mary says, you know what, I'm going to let God fight for me. And what does God do? Check this out. It says here that uh, while he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife, for it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will have a son and he will be named Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Right there, right when she, he was about to do what he had to do, in a dream, the Lord appeared to him and said, Joseph, hold up. What Mary is telling you is true. Stay with her. And he did. Now, you know, I want, I want us to have today our lady's attitude, our blessed mother's attitude, and saying, you know, maybe right now somebody is saying something about you that isn't true. Maybe right now you, want, you feel like defending yourself and say, you know what, I'm going to put that person in their place. But today... God is saying, no, let me fight for you. Let me take these matters into my hands and don't take matters into your own hands. And believe me, this is hard, but if we do it, we will see amazing things happen in our lives. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you today for this example that you give us in our Blessed Mother, Mary. She knew that the consequences would be grave. She knew that things weren't working out right. But she also knew that you were on her side. So today we pray and we ask our Blessed Mother Mary to intercede for us and to give us the patience that she had to wait on you and to expect you to show up at the right time in her life. And all this we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So. Today's action is let God fight for you and stop fighting. There you go. Put your dukes down <laughs> and just start praying and let God fight your battle today. Stop complaining. Stop pointing fingers and stop trying to defend yourself. Because many times when we try to defend ourselves, we just dig a deeper hole and we just, it's not good. It's not good at all. So today, let the Lord fight for you. And while he's fighting, I'll see you tomorrow here on day number 12 of Passion. Peace.